Greetings from the closet. Now, if you're a friend of mine and know me in real life, which, let's be honest, you probably do because the odds of a total stranger that I've never met before finding this video is slim to say the least. But if you know me in real life, you know that when I'm out and about and you see me in public that uh, this isn't my usual attire. No, not this. It's the same thing, but with a hat. A sweater from the 80s? No. This isn't my usual attire. I don't wear this. Not my usual attire. No. This is my usual attire. <laughs> a cloak. I wear a cloak. Like, all of the time. It is very comfortable, and more practical than you'd think. No, but really, I wear this thing every chance I get whenever I leave the house. You see me out in public, chances are you'll recognize me because I'll be the only one wearing a big black billowing cloak. <sighs> I love alliteration. Hanging out with friends? Cloak. Play practice? I'm wearing a cloak. Walking dramatically through a field? Cloak. Heck, I wore a cloak to my cousin's wedding. Yeah, make of that as you will. But you get the idea. I wear a cloak, and I wear it often, but I'm not here to yammer on about that. I'm here to talk about what happens when I wear a cloak. More specifically, what people say when I'm wearing a cloak. More specifically, what people call the cloak. Imagine with me for a moment. The sky is overcast with gray clouds. There's a mist in the distance and a light rain pitter-pattering down. You walk down the street, protected from the elements via your cloak. The wind dramatically billows your cloak, and giving it a very nice flare, and you continue walking. Your eyes fixed on where you need to go, people walking by, but you pay them no mind. And in one moment, all that bravado was undone in one fell swoop, because somebody said, Nice cape. Because it's not... A cape. You should know that capes do not look like this. Capes do not have sleeves, and capes most certainly do not have hoods. Duh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I got carried away and overreacted. It's just it really gets on my nerves when people call it a cape, and it's not. And that is why I am making this video. To everyone who doesn't know the difference between a cape, a cloak, a hood, a cowl, a sweatshirt, and a snuggie, this is for you. Especially you, Brad. I know you're watching. Brad. Come on, man. Get it right. Please? It gets on my nerves. Okay, so... I recently looked up, and apparently capes are defined as a sleeveless garment or piece of garment wrapped around the neck and hanging down covering the shoulders and back. Cloaks, on the other hand, are defined as a large outer garment wrapped around the neck and hanging down covering the shoulders and back, typically featuring sleeves and or a hood. And yes, I know, I know, what I'm wearing has sleeves, cloaks have sleeves, capes are defined as a sleeveless garment. It's a flimsy argument, I know, that's why I'm still talking. Because it's a bit more than that. Capes are inferior to cloaks in the fact that they're not typically worn for any practical purpose. I mean, most of the time they're just worn just for the sake of looking good. I mean, even then, it just looks like a bath towel is taped to your shoulders. Not that I've done that, though. Whereas cloaks, on the other hand, weren't designed just for the sake of looking good. I mean, that is a nifty side effect, but other than that, they were designed specifically to be a large, loose outer garment that you can easily fit over your indoor clothing, so that way you're not in a big hassle taking off a large jacket, and you can easily switch between your fancy party clothes and being protected from the chill breeze. And before somebody brings it up, let's address the elephant in the room, Edna Mode from Disney Pixar's Incredibles. Yes, great character, wonderful advice, no capes. I wholeheartedly agree, cloaks are superior. But before any of you say that cloaks are just as bad as capes, 
Allow me to point out the context that Edna Mode was saying that in. If you look closely at the capes featured in Incredibles, you see that there is almost a seamless transition between the cape and the rest of their super suit. I mean, if you look at Stratagal and Syndrome's costumes before they meet their unfortunate demise, it's like I said, they're fused at the shoulders. If it were able to be ripped off when extreme force was applied, they may have been spared their lives, but because they were made out of super durable hypertech fabric, that wasn't an option. And we know that the suits are made out of super durable hypertech-like fabric, because Edna Mode shows it off later by shooting a missile at a mannequin. And if you exercise the proper caution, the cloak is no more likely to get caught in a door or something than a trench coat. Something I also happen to have a little bit of experience with. But other than that, there's nothing much else really to say. I mean, cloaks have sleeves and hoods and capes don't and are stupid. I mean, other than that, there's not much more to say. I mean, cloaks are like a cape in the fact that they are a large outer garment wrapped around the neck and hanging down and covering the shoulders and back but they feature sleeves and a hood and are slightly more practical than capes. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, Brad, you no longer have an excuse to call this a cape because it's not. <sighs> Don't call it a cape, you know better. So go, take this knowledge that I bless upon you. Get a cloak. I've been trying to start a fashion trend for years and only like, 14 to 16 people have caught on. What's up with that? But really, I think everybody should get a cloak. It's very, very nice. Hmm? What's that? You're an extrovert who's sinking attention? Wear a cloak. That dramatic flair is definitely gonna get conversations rolling. What? What did you say? You're an introvert who's been dragged to a party against their will? <gasps> Don't worry, cloaks got you covered, figuratively and literally. Just settle down in a comfortable piece of carpet, put up the hood, and just take a nap. And with that, I have nothing left to say to you. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you've had a good day so far, and if not, maybe this video made it just a little bit better. That is, if you enjoyed it, which I hope you did. If you didn't, I'm sorry. That's all I got, so I'm gonna get a drink of water. You, uh, you do what you like. I'm gonna go drink some water.